Hello, boys and girls and students and, of course, families. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Magic Storytelling Time with UNF's First Lady, Maria Szymanski. Come on, come on in and get real comfortable. Today, our whole message is about love and kindness and sharing. And when I say those words, they're about you. You are the little and big gifts that give us those incredible words that I just said. Love, sharing, help. You are all our gifts. It doesn't matter if you're small or if you're big. You gift is awesome. It's awesome. All right, here we go. And to let you know, I wore an outfit today. As you can see, boys and girls, it is about love. It's about pink hearts with sparkle. It's about red hearts that shine. So I wanted to go with my story. I wanted to go with my story. So here we go. The book I have today is called My Little Gifts. My Little Gifts. It doesn't matter if a gift is big or small, fancy or plain, only that it comes from the heart. Only if it comes from the heart. That's what makes it special. That's what makes it special. And it says from the author and illustrator of the bestseller, also wrote the book In My Heart by Joe Wittick and illustrated by Christine Ruzzi. I want you to look at the title, My Little Hearts, My Little Gifts. There's a little girl up there. She's going to be the narrator of the story. That means she's going to tell the story in her own words. That's called the narrator. We're going to have a narr narrator today in our story. Yay, yeah. And here she is. You want to meet her? Here she is. The story doesn't tell us her name. But here she is. I'm going to be your narrator today. I love this book, My Little Gifts. My Little Gifts. I love it. I love it. I hope you love my story. I hope you love my story. But you can give her any kind of name that you want if you're sitting at home, all right? You, you can give her your name. Wouldn't that be great? If your name is Melanie, if your name is Sarah, if your name is Bob or Joe, you can give her your name or you can make it about a boy. You can do whatever you like. You can use your imagination. My next character I wanna show you in the book, boys and girls, talking about little gifts, we have the narrator and we have her sister. This is Lily. She's in the story too. How about the girls? I'm Lily. I'm going to be in the story. My sister is going to talk about me. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. They're such good friends and they love, love, love to share. They love, love, love to share. So here we go. Here we go. My book of sharing. And I'm going to bring the puppets so you can see them a little bit over and over. My book of sharing. My book of sharing. Here we go, Mr. Szymanski. Let's go. At holiday time. There's a lot of pop-up pictures here, okay? At holiday time, I hope, and I open a pile of sparkling presents. I, I crumble and I rip my presents up to get to the little gift. I find dolls and dresses and books, and I find bikes. Okay, we're gonna open up the picture to see what kind of gifts she said she found. Here we go. Lots of presents, different sizes. Because it doesn't matter how big or small, they're gifts. And look at that bicycle that she received as a present. She was waiting and waiting for that one, boys and girls. Waiting and waiting. Our next page, 
I love the puff up pictures. My favorite present is my suitcase. Look at this cool suitcase. Let's see if it opens. Let me try it. Where's our suitcase? All right. We're going to read first and find out what it says. My favorite present is my little red suitcase. Uh, my sister Lily wants to play with it too. I scream. Let's go find our narrator. I scream. It's mine. It's not yours. And yank it back, back, back from her. Lily, you remember her sister Lily? <laughs> Lily starts to cry. <laughs> She starts to cry and dad starts to scold me, but instead he does something different. He's very patient with me, but says, I think it's going to be okay. He said, let's all share. He whispers, you don't have to give away your suitcase. Look how he solved the problem. Dad said, you don't have to give away your suitcase. But you can always, what do you think, boys and girls, dad said? That's right. You can always share it. That's a great idea. It's true. Gifts are more fun when they're shared. Gifts are more fun when they're shared. So we decided to share our, the suitcase. They solved the problem. They were kind to each other. Now, at recess, some of you are back in school or you're playing in, in, in a playground. At recess, we share too. So if you're back in school right now or you are with some other family members, we learn to share. These kids are at recess time. They swap cards and stickers and they do their favorite, favorite games. She, the little narrator said, you remember her? She said, I teach my friend Lee how to play hopscotch, and he teaches me how to play marbles. That's us sharing and learning from each other. Wow, that's so nice. This is their hopscotch. This book is so cool. I'm going to open it up so I can share the pictures with you. There, it begins, home is right here. This is home. And it goes all the way down until it gets to one. You've seen hopscotch, you've played it, going from different numbers and different squares. And what's cool about it, inside, I wanna show you the pictures. Here's some pictures of some children. And you know what they do? They share their talents. Like if you're back in school or if you're at home with brothers and sisters, you share your talents. If you're good with marbles, you teach somebody how to do that. If you're good in dribbling a basketball, well then you help them dribble. If you're good in playing hopscotch, well then you teach them how to do that. You share your talents with your friends and your family members. That would be great. And look at the very end. She said, I want a sour candy and a new favorite game. But she got something at the end because she did such a good job of sharing. She got a piece of candy. Now, let's see. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. A gift can be handmade. Handmade means that you make something with your hands. Now, to make a cake for mom and dad. Whoa, I know you like this scrumptious looking cake. Look how colorful, look how big. It was handmade. To make a cake for mom and dad, we will need a dozen eggs, a cup of flour, a uh, heaping sugar, and a sprinkle of good cheer. We stir in two pounds of hugs. Wow. You see how they're gonna make it special? They put all the ingredients together, but they're gonna put some hugs in there. What else are they gonna put? They're gonna put three tons of kisses. Well, that's a lot. 
All those kisses in the cake and all those hugs. Ta-da, ta-da. This is the cake we're gonna create for mom and dad. Ta-da, ta-da. Let's open it up. This is a, a cool book and it says, a cake tastes better when it's made from you and you and you. Think of a time you helped make a cake and your mom and dad and your family members loved it. You did a, you had a little gift for them. They loved it more than anything because it comes from your hands. You made it. And you put those kisses and hugs in it. Now, Margo is my very best friend. I want to introduce you to Margo. This is Margo right here. La, 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 Margo, Margo. Margo is, is my very best friend. She's an excellent speller. Do you have a friend that's an excellent speller? Well, Margo over here is an ex excellent speller. She is a beautiful, beautiful, la, 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 She's a beautiful singer. And a one, and she's wonderful at jumping rope. Look at that. This is all about Margo. She has so many talents, so many talents. And today, she tells me something special. Margo tells our narrator, the little girl, that I am her very best friend. My heart jumps with joy. And all kind words are a gift. See, all her kind words are a gift. And I can treasure them in my heart. Thank you, Margo. Thank you. Thank you, Margo. Thank you. You see how they're sharing? Now, at school today, we learned all about bees. You know, that's science, when science comes up, right? They learned about bees and about, uh, about hives and pollen and their buzz, buzz, buzz and their buzz, buzz, buzz. Let's open it up and see what it says. It was very, very interesting. When I come home, I tell Lily, Lily, come here, I wanna tell you something. What, what do you wanna tell me? I wanna tell you that in science class today, we learned all about bees. What sound do bees make? Did they tell you? Yes. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Uh, uh, can I try it too? And you can tell me if I'm right? Okay, here we go. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Say it louder. Say it louder. Okay. Buzz, 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 buzz. Hooray! You can do it, Lily. You can do it. And we cheer each other on because we have so many special talents and we teach one another. Now, guess what happens? So when she came home, she told Lily about everything, about bees. She explained it. You know what's something else you can do after you explain it? If you're teaching someone about something, you can draw it. Wouldn't that be great? You draw it. And then you can act it out. They acted out the bees, didn't they? The buzz, buzz, buzz. Do you see how acting out makes you more come alive? Lily asks for more. She says, Lily comes back there and she says, I want more, more, more. Teach me more, more, more about bees. She wants to be the queen bee. I want to be the queen bee. <laughs> so let's see what happens when you open up the flap. Knowledge is a gift. So when you teach others, it doesn't matter their age. When you teach others, you are giving them a gift. Did you see how the narrator, little girl, when she was teaching her sister, she was, she was giving her a gift. She was giving her the gift of learning, of knowledge. As any knowledge can be as sweet as honey, like those bees. Now, on our walk, 
I give my hand to my mom. She squeezes it and she kisses, kisses, ki kisses my cheek. The kiss feels as light. Now, if you see this picture here, the kiss feels as light as a dandelion. That's how soft the kiss is. My heart feels light too. Very, very light. Like I'm floating, floating on air. Have you ever felt like you floated and floated on air? Well, this, this is what the little girl feels like when her mom and her are together. When I was a little girl, these were one of my favorite, favorite type of plants or flowers, the little dandelions. You know what I like doing? I like picking up one, putting it right on my face and blowing it as hard as I could. Sometimes the whole dandelion would fly up in the air and I would try, try to find it to see where it went. Sometimes only a part of it would fly, but I still had fun. So if you ever see dandelions, you can have fun with your family, blowing them and watching them go up in the air. That's little gifts that you can do together to feel good. And inside it says, hugs and kisses are gifts that I can give to my mom and my mom can give to me. Those are gifts. Sometimes we think a gift is only a box and it's wrapped up beautiful. Yeah, that could be one. That is a gift, you're right. And I love that gift too. But it also can be kisses. When, sometimes when you're leaving and you blow somebody a kiss, okay, that's a gift. And when you hug somebody, you're not giving them anything, you're just giving them your arms. And that's another gift. Do you see how you give gifts every day? You make everybody feel good. You make everybody feel good. Keep doing that. Keep sharing those gifts. Now, Margo and I are making friendship bracelets. Here we are. These are the bracelets. You can see they're how tangled up they are. See what you think might happen here. How the little gifts can come about. How you can solve the problem. Well, Margo is. I'm making a big tangle. Look at the tangle our narrator made. Big, big tangle. My bracelet is ruined. My bracelet is ruined. And she starts to cry. <laughs> but Margo pats my back. She pats her back and asks, what do you think she's gonna ask? Oh, you got it. Can I help? Can I help you? She unties the strings with her magic, magic fingers. She works hard and hard to untie, untie the strings. My friend, look at this bracelet from the time it was all tangled up. My friend gives me the gift of what? What do you think? That's right. She helped her. The gift of help and the gift of a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bracelet. The gift of a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. See it down here? That's what it looks like now. No tangles anymore no tangles. Which jam should we open? This is the jam. Now we're getting hungry now. Which jam should we open? Mom asks. Lily, that's fine, Lily's still right here. Yeah, she didn't go anywhere, she's still here. Lily says, I want the orange one. And the narrator says, I want the red one. I like the little bits of cherries inside. That's why I want the red one. My grandpa 
made these jams with love. Look at all these cherries. Grandpa made the jam with love. That's another little gift. And I know he wouldn't want us to fight. So I let my little sister Lily decide. I let my little sister decide. Can you remember of a time where you let your little brother or your little sister or your big sister or big brother decide? And let's see what they did. Here they are getting their juice ready and keep opening it up. And it says, bits of love are better Bits of love are better than bits of cherries, especially on toast. They put it on toast. That's a good message. That's a good message. Let's go to the next one. In the creation studio, maybe you have something in your home where you like to create. You like to cut out certain paper, put glue and sticks with it. And, and stickers, and you create, you use your imagination. In the creation studio, this is the creation studio, studio here. This is what they've created. Okay, you take a look at it, and you can see if you can figure it out. In the creation studio, I use my imagination. When we dream together, our ideas are bigger than br and brighter. Sometimes when you work with a partner, at school or at home, your ideas will be bigger and better because you're sharing your ideas. You're sharing your ideas because your ideas are magical. They're important. When we dream together, they get bigger. We pass the glue. Do you remember a time when you, you were in this imagination station? Pass me the glue. Pass me the paper. Pass me the the markers, pass me the crown, swap the scissors. We lend each other a hand. You're passing, you're passing, you're passing, you're taking, you're taking. You see those little gifts going on? We cut and we laugh a lot. That's what makes fun, when you laugh a lot. That's a little gift, that's a little gift. Let's open it up and see what they made in their imagination station. I'm proud of what we made. I'm proud of what we made. I'm sure you made something with somebody else and you were both proud of what you made. Well, it can look like a rocket. It can look like a home. It can be anything they want it to be. They made it. They get to say what it is by using their imagination. That's wonderful. And at the very end, let's see how many more pages we have. I have received so many gifts. I have my kind words in my heart and a kiss on my cheek. A bike to ride and play with. Remember when she got that bike for Christmas? And now I have a gift to give. Let's see what gift she has to give. It's a blue suitcase. It's a blue suitcase. Let's see what it says. A, a gift to give. It's a blue suitcase. Oh, oh, wait a minute, she wants to talk. She wants to talk. It's a blue suitcase. You see it? It's kind of big. It's B-L-U-E, blue suitcase. And it is for my sister, Lily. It's for my sister, Lily. Yeah. Now we can pretend that we're travelers on a big, 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 oh, Lily's kind of caught there with her hair in front of her. Let me get her out of the, <laughs> it happens sometimes. We get to travel, travel, travel with our blue suitcase with our blue suitcase in a journey, in a journey around, 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 and around the world. 
around and round around the world. My sister and I, there we are, big travelers. And sometimes they might want to fly a kite. They make kites together. And that's having little gifts again, something to share, something to share. Boys and girls, students and families, it does not matter if a gift is big or small, if it's fancy or plain, only that it comes, look at this, it doesn't matter if it's plain, fancy, big or small, only that it comes from the heart, only that it comes from the heart. Those, look how many students drew these little hearts to come together. They shared their crowns, their markers to make a big, big heart. I have so many gifts to give and so do you. And so do you. Never forget that you have a lot of gifts to give. They can be hu hugs, they can be kisses, they can be drawings, they can be knowledge, any of those things. Sharing, you have a lot of gifts to give, a lot of gifts.